This is the first video on section 1.3 which deals with quantifiers. In this one we discuss open sentences and their truth sets. The phrase x squared equals 4, a kind of thing which we see all of the time when we read or write mathematics, is called an open sentence. It's not a proposition because we can't decide if it's true or false without knowing a bit more about x. In order to make it into a proposition, we need to introduce and specify two things, a universe and a quantifier. By a universe, we mean the set of objects from which x is selected. We'll talk a bit about that in this video and leave the discussion of quantifiers to the next video. So here are some commonly used universal sets and the notations that, are, uh, that you'll find in most math books. Um, this is the set of natural numbers. This is the set of integers. Um, the set of rational numbers, uh, which is the set of real numbers that can be expressed as a ratio of integers. R denotes the set of real numbers. And C, the set of complex numbers. You'll notice for each of these that we have this extra little line that appears somewhere in the um, notation for it, and that's pretty commonly used by most mathematicians. So you should use that notation as well. Uh, you'll notice for the set of natural numbers and integers, I've used what's called roster notation. So that means I've used two curly brackets, and I've listed the elements of the sets in between the curly brackets separated by commas. The set of real numbers is much more difficult to define, and so, but we will say something more about that later on in the course. For the set of complex numbers, I've used what's called set builder notation. Um, and so you can see I've got two curly brackets. I've got some kind of a symbol here. I've got a colon, and then I have some kind of a, um, a statement. So the way you read this, you read it as the set of all a plus i b such that a and b are real. So that's essentially telling you what a typical element of the set of complex numbers looks like. This is what a typical element looks like, and this is the condition on a and b. So a typical complex number is, can be written in the form a plus i b, where a and b are real numbers. If x lies in a certain specified universe u, and we let p of x be a certain open sentence, then the truth set of p of x is defined to be the set of all x lying in the universe u such that p of x is true. Okay, here's uh, an example for you to practice on. If we take p of x to be the open sentence x squared minus 2 times x squared plus 1 times x squared minus 4 times 3x minus 1 equals 0, I want you to write down what is the truth set of this open sentence. Of course, you can't do it unless you know what is the universe that we're taking the x's from. And so do it in each of these cases where we specify what we want the universe to be. Okay, put the video on hold, give it a try, and then I'll tell you what I got for my answers. All right, so here are my answers. The original open sentence says x squared minus 2, x, cubed, uh, x squared plus 1, times x squared minus 4, times 3x minus 1 should be 0. Um, the only way that can happen is if at least one of the factors is 0. The first factor is 0 when x is plus or minus the square root of 2, uh, which, is a rational no uh, which is an irrational number. Um, this one is 0 when x is the plus or minus the square root of minus 1. That's a complex number. We call it plus or minus i. This one is 0 when x is plus or minus 2, and this one is 0 when x is 1 third. So, 
if we take our universal set to be the set of natural numbers, then the only root that I mentioned that lies in the natural numbers is 2. That came from this factor here. And so the truth set is just singleton set 2. If u is z, then the only root that I mentioned that was in z, uh, the only roots I mentioned that were in z are 2 and minus 2. If u is q, we have to, in addition, throw in 1 third, which came from this factor here. Um, if u is the set of reals, we have to throw in plus or minus square root of 2. And if u is the set of complex numbers, we can add plus or minus i to the truth set. And notice um, that in each of these cases I've used a roster notation in order to denote my um, solution set here. So make a point of using good uh, set notation. And uh, just one final comment. Uh, this example um, illustrates, I think, pretty clearly that the truth set of a particular open sentence depends very much on the universe that you're choosing the x from. So you'll notice that without knowing what you were choosing your universe to be, you couldn't have come up with these answers, and the answers are quite different depending upon which universe you use.